we often got the same because our, our offices are paid on the same rate. So we reduce contracts. We reduce consultants. We don't we try and we haven't do this the red tape. Would you believe that the majority eighty percent of red tape has nothing to do with council, it's state and federal government. Eighteen hundred pieces of legislation on the federal team have been have increased from eighty nine and two. So wherever we can, and I certainly have been part of so is as Barbara, in reducing some of the red tape for a couple of businesses who have been operating here on the island and saying let's apply some common sense. <coughs> We we'll continue to do that because it does cost business. But that's and that's certainly one of the things that we would be looking at. So people have to make a decision. If we go into cut and we have capped the rates, it's for a time. We can't we can't freeze the rates because we go back. Can I check what New South Wales is? The New South Wales government, the Labor government, have the rates at New South Wales at CPI for so many years, they went backwards big time. Every local government association at the state of conference I went to, they were screaming about the fact they could not they could not maintain their infrastructure, they could not renew their infrastructure. So what did they do? They then went to other sources to raise revenue and got into bed with Lehman Brothers and lost millions because of what happened with Lehman Brothers. All because the state government arbitrarily capped their rates and then there, everything there went backwards and they now have a backlog second and none to clean up. Is that what you want? It's about being responsible. And that's clearly what my role is as, as mayor. And at times I have to make some hard decisions. We know that people are hurting. We know that and we will do everything we can to reduce the cost. Well, I hope I didn't If we vote for you, will you come and live amongst us? No, I'd love to come and live among you. I work seven days a week and six months a week. I have a long suffering husband sitting back there that, at the, at, that I see maybe in the morning when he gets me breakfast uh, and I go to work that I would love to be here but I can't, uh, I can't promise that it's equal time because I could not survive working seven days a week and six nights a week. I'm sorry. Okay.